All right, so we have a nut shaped like a regular hexagon with the side lengths one centimeter. So if I draw that over here a little bigger, um, because we're going to divide this up into triangles, we know that all the side lengths are one. And we're trying to find this height here from the top to the bottom of this hexagon. So, um, so we're going to get into this a lot more when we get to area, finding the area of regular hexagons. Um, and the way you do that is you divide it from the middle into triangles by going from like the center of the regular polygon to each vertex. And you could divide it up into congruent triangles. All right. Now, um, we know like all of these side lengths are equal to each other. And also all of these lengths going from... Uh, the middle to the vertex are also equal to each other. Now I could have given them two tick marks because how do we know that all three of these angles are equal? Um, the reason why is since we know at least these triangles are isosceles even if they're not equilateral like all of these angles here are going to have to equal each other because uh, all these triangles are congruent and those six angles have to add up to 360 so if you divide that by six you get each of these angles are 60 degrees. So if you have an isosceles triangle where the vertex angle is 60, then the base angles also have to be 60. So these triangles are equilateral. All right. So now we're just trying to find this length right here. Because if we double it, right, add this part too, then we're going to get uh, the entire length of x. So this height that I drew in red is going to bisect the um, it's going to bisect the equilateral triangle. All right, we know that this side length is one half, and that's going to be the short leg because this angle I can't draw it for some reason. There you go. This angle um, is thirty degrees, so you know uh, that's going to be half the hypotenuse, which was one because this was an equilateral triangle. Or also, it just kind of cuts this entire length in half. So to get the long leg, because now this angle over here is 60 degrees, you would multiply that by root 3. So you get root 3 over 2. Uh, there you go. Which means this part up here is also root 3 over 2. So if you add them together, root 3 over 2 plus root 3 over 2, you get 2 root 3 over 2. And that's just root 3. So the length of x is just root 3. And that would be in centimeters.